Welcome to Collectors of the Coast, I'm Cash. Uh, today we're going to get into a Commander Legends uh, collector booster box. Um, these things have not been holding up well for price at all. They were just overpriced out of the gate, uh, and the market has kind of rejected the product. Um, though there's some really good cards in it, and I, I actually think they're really uh, undervalued on the market at large. And the, the people who are brave in this set right now, I think in a couple of years from now, are going to make out like bandits because I do see this as a a three hundred dollar box, um, Canadian anyways. Uh, in the uh, uh, we're seeing them in Canada now for probably about on seeing them out there for two twenty five, two fifty. Uh, I think someone even had a couple for for two hundred on. Oh, better do this right here. Uh, so uh, anyways, we wanted to open up a box of this. Um, I didn't open up very much of it uh, when they came out because they were so expensive. Uh, but now that the price is pretty good, uh, it seems like actually a really good product to open at the price point that is at. So um, I think it's actually a really nice set. So uh, we're gonna get into it. So I am actually splitting this box with one of our patrons, uh, Seranos or Ryan. Uh, and uh, he's got the first five packs over here. I let him pick his five packs. Uh, so hopefully uh, he gets some some money. Uh, I think uh, the last couple times on opening term, he hasn't hit very hard. So for a while there, he couldn't miss. Uh, and recently it's been kind of... So we talked about this pack because this was the one we weren't sure. Um, we weren't sure which one he should, which ones he should pick. And I, I we kind of had a little bet on whether this pack was going to be good or not. Uh, so we're hoping, I kind of told them we're going to have one of the foil red dragons in here. Uh, Candle Inspiration, Dungeoneer's Pack's not bad. What did I actually do? Sacrifice it, you take the initiative, gain three life, draw a card, and create a treasure token. Activate only as a sorcery. It costs quite a bit to do all that stuff, and it comes in tap. So uh, not a bad card, but okay. It's islands. Don't, not a particular fan of these islands with all the writing on them. Uh, the art's not bad on them. I kind of changed off online a lot of my stuff. All right, so uh, a few cards in this set are really spiking. Um, there are some commons and uncommons that are worth quite a bit. Uh, all right, so this is a squirrel token kind of card. Creatures you own have at the beginning of your end step. If a creature card was put into your graveyard from anywhere this turn, create two tapped one one squirrel. See, I didn't even know this card was in this. I never even noticed it when it came out. Um, but this is like an auto include in a squirrel commander deck. So uh, pretty nice stuff. Uh, what else we got here? We got Lausanne, Dragon's Legacy. So I'm going to put that aside as a common, as an uncommon I like. Uh, what is this? Flying. Whenever you cast an adventure or dragon spell, it does damage equal to that spell's mana value to target that isn't a commander. So that's pretty nice too. Now 4-2, so it is a bit uh, pricey for a 4-2. A little bit easy to kill. Uh, that's our etched. Uh, what did we get here? Carlock. Carlock's actually a really nice card. Um, got a couple of them. Uh, right now, uh, but uh, yeah, I know I sold one of them. Happy to have one back. I was kind of didn't want to didn't want to sell them. So what else we get here? Uh, An Alpha She, pretty nice. Displacer Kitten, nice full art. This card's been holding really good value uh, and in spiking a little bit since the beginning. So I've been really solid. Uh, nice card. So this is a solid pack. I don't think it's a spectacular pack, but probably probably worth the money. Uh, Jan Jansen's really nice. Uh, a lot of artifact stuff going on. Oh, and full art, Elminster. And I got something else at the back. Wizards of Thay in foil. Wow, that was a pretty nice pack. Got a mythic. Uh, got some good rares. Uh, not hitting and hit the home run pack, but very nice. So uh, we're at mythic ones. So I'm going to just kind of move these out of the way because that is a pack for me. Um, and then we will open up uh, for uh, for Ryan here. So uh, Ryan, good luck. see if I can actually do this right. I'm actually going to do the, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll just open up for you. Okay, so uh, this is a nice product. There is a token that's worth quite a bit, the Boo token. Uh, Volo's Journal, I suspect, is probably going to be worth a little bit too, because it's not one you hit very often, uh, and it is nice. So, all right. Skullminder. Rug of Smothering. Whenever a player casts a spell, they lose one life for each spell they've cast this turn. That's a really interesting card. And kind of a smothering kind of deck. All right. Marching Duodon. Don't like these alt arts. I won't complain about them anymore, but I did not like them. All right. Master Chef. All right. Ithalid Harvester. Black Market Connections. This card's been spiking huge. And this is a great card. Actually, I'm kind of jealous. This is the one card that I really wanted that I don't have in this set. So uh, congratulations. A beautiful card. Okay. So we're going to be happy with that. And that's just a rare Oh, but man, really nice cards. So congrats, man. Uh, Wind Shaper. Oh my goodness. 
I want to create a, its own little space here uh, for these full arts uh, that are worth some money. So, uh, Wind Shaper, Ragadaga. Okay, got your second. And we get a couple of a couple of these alt arts. I don't know what to do with these things. Uh, how am I going to pile these? I don't know what we can see in the camera here. I'll put these up here. Okay. All right. So we got a couple of those. Uh, I don't know. Uh, kind of a, a really good pack with the Black Market Connections. Made the pack. Um, like I said, I think these boxes are undervalued right now. So um, the market sometimes goes a little crazy one way or the other. And they've just... Oh, and you got a boot token, buddy. Congrats. That's a nice token. That's a nice card. That gets a little special, special love up here. I think that token's like five bucks just by itself. So, all right, kind of hard to get. A lot of people are really playing a lot of that uh, of uh, Minsk and Boo. Uh, he's been getting a lot of love. Uh, went from I think it was about eight dollars to about twenty five dollars uh, in recent weeks. So, uh, pretty nice. Oh my goodness, Jeff D. Uh, Jeff D. Big fan of Jeff D. Actually. I didn't realize he did some of this art. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I didn't... Oh, man, I talk to him sometimes online. A really nice guy. Uh, if you look him up, he's uh, a really cool guy. So, uh, Sivirus Nightmare Speaker. Cool. Brain Stealer Dragon. Uh, go there. Ascend for Avernus. This is a really nice card. And you got a Merkel Lord of Bones. And, oh, Miriam, Central Worm. Getting lots of, Sentinel Worm, getting lots of play uh, in the alt art. And an Altar of Ball. Uh, this is a pretty cool card, too. Uh, really nice. All right, cool. All right, so we're doing pretty solid. Uh, just that, well, I guess we're at one Mythic in the box so far. So not, not hit on the, big on the Mythics, but uh, some very good rares. Got the best rare in the set for sure in that Black Market Connects and Commander card. Let's see if we do we get another we get another boo? Nah, just another city. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that uh, Ryan's gonna be happy with this opening at this point. Uh, almost regardless of what happens. But let's hope we pull him some more good stuff. Some more love. Okay, pretty nice uh, uncommon. Alright, Tavern Brawler. One of those commander creatures you own, have at the beginning of your upkeep. Uh, ooh, that's pretty nice. Uh, top card of your library, this creature gets plus X O till end of turn, where X is that card's mana value. You may play that card this turn. So that's, that's, ooh, that's pretty nice. Okay. Uh, Glunch, the Bestower. Pretty nice and uh, just a fun card. Like, just a really fun commander card. So, all right. Mocking Doppelganger. Always like those shapeshifters. Good in so many decks. Mighty Servant of Luko. You got a commander creatures you own have pay two and a blue. This creature becomes a copy of another target creature. Very cool. Uh, Zelver and Caves of Chaos Adventure. Enters the battlefield. You take the initiative. Pretty nice stuff. Okay, I'll put that there with the black market connections. So, uh, not hitting huge, huge, but... We are due. We are due. So at the price of these things, you almost have to get pack value right now. It's uh, when we get a couple good cards. Gone Gate with uh, all of these uncommon lands. These gates are, are worth a little bit right now. Until they're reprinted. I don't know. Lightning Bolts, Alt Art. Halson. Hardy Outlander. Oh, there we go. Foil land. Very nice. It's a nice value uh, rare. Very nice in the foil. Ooh. Got a mythic commander card. Commander creatures you own have pay two, sacrifice an artifact, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this creature, and draw a card. That's a really nice card. Really nice. I think this is a little underappreciated, to be honest, in those artifact decks. Artifacts are going to be big this year, so um, expecting... Uh, Elder Brain's nice. Um, expecting some some good things coming up. Uh, sorry, I just messed up my piles of stuff here. Uh, expecting some good things coming up, and some of those cards. Oh, Ancient Copper Dragon in the house. Alt art, big time. Well, you made your money back and more, my friend. That is beautiful, and you're gonna want to play this this nasty piece of a dragon. Uh, very nice, very nice. What a pack. That was a nice pack. All right, Alondro the Seer. And you still got a pack left. 
I've uh, been very impressed with this box so far. We've hit, we've hit big. Um, I did see when we were, it's funny, when we were, uh, I didn't open that much of this stuff on the channel. Uh, that's a nice token too. That really works with the, um, oh, what's that card? The, uh, the Forgotten Realms card, uh, that, uh, creates all the tokens. Oh, Seagate, nice, uh, nice gate. We got a Mist Dragon here. Always under underappreciated some of those uh, things that tap stuff and uh, some of those those some of those original uh, mechanics sometimes under you, you kind of underestimate how good they are when you play it. Uh, another uh, skeleton token card. All right, Bane, Lord of Darkness. What else did you get here? Grell the Philosopher. Are we gonna finish? Okay, Horn of Valhalla is not bad. Mazzy, we have something else big for you, or are we, uh, we tapped out Wand of Wonder. Yeah, it's not a big one. It's okay, though. Art's beautiful. Art is beautiful with all those butterflies. Uh, really nice. So, uh, you did pretty well, my friend. Uh, we hit some big, big cards. So, uh, that, that Ancient Copper Dragon, uh, that Black Mark Connection is really huge. You did get some good lands. Didn't hit too much, I don't think, in the etch slot. You got the Boo token, which is really cool. Um, the question is, am I going to get Minsk in the other six packs of this? Um, but uh, congrats, man. That was uh, that was really nice. So uh, you were kind of, I think you kind of do to hit something big with this because uh, we haven't, uh, like I said, you, uh, Serranos could not miss for a while. I remember when we did, he's been around the channel since the beginning and uh, he could not miss uh, for a while. And then we kind of went through a cold period. So maybe we're heating up again. I haven't been doing as many openings, so, you know, I thought with openings... Oh, go! Go! All right, Swift, swift Foot Boots, nice uncommon. Uh, it's pretty nice, too, uh, Patriarch, Patriarch Seal. Going to be really good in those legendaries. Expecting, if it's not going up in price now, expecting it will. Uh, Taunting Kobold, Agent of the Iron Throne. All right, what are we here? Sarvok the Deathbringer. Actually, pretty cool card. All right. Uh, just just want to go over what this guy does, actually. At the beginning of each player's end step, if no permanents left the battlefield this turn, that player loses X life where X is Sarvok's power. Um, that feels like that could be really broken in the right deck. So, real nice. All right. White Plume Adventurer. Uh, bothersome Quasit. Sea of Clouds. Full art. Nice. Okay, first good card. Carlock, seeing Carl, I got two Carlocks in this uh, in this opening, so really nice in that full art or the uh, etched foil. Really nice, and Alondo the Seer. Oh, and all right. Apparently, Carlock is my man. Uh, I am gonna get lots of him. Uh, where is it? There was another Carlock here. I now have him in this opening in three versions. <laughs> Anyone looking for Carlock? I got him. I know, uh, I can't remember if I sold one. I know somebody was looking for one a lot a little while ago. I think I gave one up. Uh, but uh, I will be selling Carlock. Uh, he is a good card. All right, so we got uh, nothing too crazy there. Trailblazer's is Torch, not too bad. All right, Sky Diamond. Did I get a, I just got an Ox. He's a very handsome Ox. All right, Sky Diamond. All right, we're gonna be here. Oh, we got another Lazon. All right, Street Urchin. Cultist of the Absolute. All right. Uh, spawn, we get a Fish Horror. Oh, Morphic Pool. There, okay, I was going to put that there, but I'm not going to now. I'll put that up here. It's fine. Uh, so we get the Morphic Pool and Sea of Clouds full art. I love that. Love that. Oh, and Miriam Sentinel Worm in the Etch. That is beautiful. So that's a nice, that's a hit. Uh, Lazel and Majestic Genesis. I don't even remember what this card does. Reveal the top X cards of your library, where X is the greatest mana value of a commander you own on the battlefield or in the command zone. So that's pretty nice. You may put any number of permanent cards from among them on the battlefield. Put the rest on the body of your library in a ran random order. Uh, so this is only really going to play really well for really big casting cost commanders. Um, I mean, you you, uh, you, you put something... Uh, what's his name? From Ixalan. Um, so you put like your 12 casting cost commander and then you play this card and it is an absolute bomb. Uh, so that's that's really nice. So uh, we got a 
couple mythics and a couple packs here. Uh, I mean, we've pulled Carlock like nobody's business. So we're at we're at three mythics plus the Sea of Clouds. Uh, very nice. Uh, plus Miriam Sentinel Worms, nice. So like and enjoying this, enjoying this for sure. Initiative, and we got the Undercity. Cool. Okay. Murder. One of the most reprinted cards in the game. Printed so many times, I own. I want to say conservatively 50 copies. Uh, Gate Colossus, uh, not a bad reprint. Pretty good in those gate decks. Uh, Colossus Scale Singer. You can cast Dragon Souls from the top of your library, which is nice. Safina, Calimport Cutthroat. All right, I'm going to call for two Black Mark co Collect Connections in this uh, in this opening, because I, I really want one. So we're going to hope. All right, Alterial Survivors. Oh, what is this one? Baolith, Baritol Entertainer. Creatures your opponents control with power less than them uh, are goaded. Okay, whenever a goaded attacking or blocking creature dies, you create a treasure token. Choose a background. Okay, he's actually pretty nice. Okay, what are we here? Oh, that is a mythic, so I'll put him in the mythic pile. Archivist of Ogma. That card's still, this is a really nice card. This is a really, we're, we've hit almost all the good cards in here. We just need a couple more dragons. Okay, that's a value card. Nira Wild Mage. Nice, uh, nice etched. Oh, I get stuff in wrong places here. Ah. Merkel's nice, and Under Mountain Adventure. When it's a battlefield, you take the initiative, add two green if you completed a duction. Instead, add six. Well, that's a pretty nice card, too. Okay. So we got some real good cards in this. Um, there's there's just so many cards that are uh, for the price of the boxes uh, in the foil, in uh, the collector boxes right now. Um, there's just so many cards that are that are good cards. Uh, there, there's there's not as many home run cards as I think people like to see, especially at, you know they made this a premium cost for the product. Uh, this is actually this uh, uncommon's worth like two three bucks. So nice card, very good. So it's just like lots of good cards, even like the diamonds and stuff in their alt art are kind of cool to get. Okay, Livian cultist, Tiamat, all right, mighty servant Luko. Stick together. Each player chooses a party from among creatures they control, then sacrifices the rest. Interesting. I don't know if that's good or not. All right, well, you know, one of those things. Will's Reversal. Pretty nice card. Okay. Cultist of the Absolute. Wow. Commander creatures you own get plus 3-3, three, three, have flying, death touch, ward, pay 3 life, and at the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Oh. Ooh, don't like that so much. I don't know. Uh, someone can tell me at home if that's actually good or not. All right. This is nice, though. Sacrifice another creature, draw X cards where X is that creature's power. That's pretty sweet. And you get to choose a background. Okay. Laziel, and we got, oh, skeleton. Wicked looking skeleton token. Um, that works really well with that, uh, that the uh, enchantment from Forgotten Realms. Makes all the skeleton tokens really like this. And it's got menace. Ooh, that's a badass. Love that art. So so creepy looking. So, don't know if it's holding any value. Uh, as far as I know, Boo's the big one because uh, everyone wants that Boo token, and he is pretty hard to pull. Uh, we just didn't see him a lot uh, out in the world at large. Maybe we'll still pull another one. Dragon treasure. Not bad. All right, Stormkeeper. Gray slad. It's funny. So a couple more adventure cards have come out. There's none of these were really all that good. I think that was, you know, something for me with the adventure because I love the adventure from Forgotten Realm, uh, from uh, Throne of Eldraine. Uh, so just nothing that really excited me. Uh, Campfire is not bad. I have a playable card. Contraband Livestock, got our land. Savar Rock, Deathkeeper. Minthara, Merciless Soul. This is actually a really nice card. Nice uncommon. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, Rasad Bashir. Oh, another Displacer Kitten. We'll take that. Good stuff. Um, I think I have all those Displacer Kittens I need, so I will probably be putting some of those up. Seasoned Engineer. Whenever you attack, target attacking Cleric, Rogue, Warrior, or Wizard gains protection from creatures until end of turn. It explores. That's really nice. Bar Room Brawl. Love the love the feeling of this. This is definitely like probably the quintessential best party card uh, in the in the set. Uh, you really get the feel. The art is beautiful. You get the Dragon Warrior, I guess that is. You get all the different uh, characters. Uh, target creature you control fights. Target creature opponent con 
to your left controls, then that player may copy this spell, may choose new targets for the copy. So real fun card in Commander. Uh, like like the feel of that. A little underappreciated. Duke Older is very nice. Okay. Raphael Fiendish Slayer and... Ooh, Luxury Sweet Foil. I'll take that all day. Twice on Sundays. Really nice. So we pulled big on the land, so I'm going to put that down with the other three. We've got three of the lands here. Um, that's real nice. So we got one pack left. Uh, we have... I've been really happy with this opening. Uh, really, really nice stuff. I, I just, I don't understand. Like, some of the, the market's not liking this product right now. Oh, we got a bunny! Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it's actually worth anything, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. That was, like, my favorite card of this set when we uh, were using it. Dawnbringer Cleric uh, Reprint. Uh, he is a great card. My buddies plays him in, like, every single deck. Uh, Manifold Key, another, another nice card. All right, Mastiff, Swamp... All right, what this Ernest Gloomstalker? Also another Jeff D. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> cool. Lulu, Lolly, Loyal, Holophant. Uh, where does that go? Over here. Flaming Fist, Jan Jansen. Journey to the Lost City. Okay. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top four cards of your library and roll the d20. You may put a land card from among those cards onto the battlefield. If you roll 10 to 19, you get a wolf creature token, then put a 1-1 one -one counter on it for each creature card among those cards. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then uh, all permanents exiled with Journey of the Lost City onto the battlefield, then sacrifice it. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. If that comes at the right time, that's pretty cool. Traverse the Outlands, really nice. Uh, search for a lot of land cards. Gale, Waterdeep, Prodigy, and are we going to hit something good to end here? We got one card left, one card left, and it is a... Wow, 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 we hit the, the whole set of lands here. Okay, so he picked the box, we had a few boxes, uh, and you picked a good box, my friend. Like, just that alone is great. Um, and we, we also hit the Elminster, which isn't holding a ton of value, but we just hit some really good cards in the in the opening. So, uh, really happy I did this. Uh, really, hit Archimist of Ogma is really good. Uh, we hit uh, the Dragon. Uh, just uh, some really good cards for for the opening. So, uh, hit Carlock times three. Uh, some uh, some. So I'm glad I, I needed a few more of these into my collection. So, uh, pretty happy. So I hope everyone did enjoy it. Um, definitely, this set. Um, I do think people have kind of undervalued it um if you can pick up a box uh cheap right now uh with how the market is then i would do so it, it really is good for the for the value not not a four hundred dollars it's not or uh, or you know three hundred dollars american uh it's definitely not good but if you can get a box i don't know in the states i've seen them for as low as 120 dollars american um and as low as 200 dollars canadian and if you can get them at that price um i highly recommend you open this product it is really good for the price um really fun cards to add to your decks in your collection uh and uh it's just yeah the market is overreacted as it often does uh and it's just uh yeah it's, it's this this product is not holding price but it's got the cards it's got the cards at, at 250 dollars canadian 300 dollars canadian it's a good at 300 dollars it's a good product uh, at, uh, at 250, it's a great product at $200 Canadian. It is an amazing product. Um, and it's just all about value of what's in there. Uh, and again, and if you're in the U S you know, 120, I mean, that's crazy. If you can get a box of this for 120, uh, buy it now, like just go buy it. It's like, it's like nothing. Uh, and you're going to get, you're going to get more than your money's worth. Like you can literally sell it on the open market, uh, almost for sure for more than your, what your what you uh, paid for the box. Uh, if you just, you know, you spend, you, you pull a Minsk and Boo, you pull one of the dragons, you got your money there. So uh, anyways, hope everyone did enjoy the video. We certainly did. Uh, everyone have a magical day and subscribe.